Now we're going to take our knowledge of light to the next level. Use Planck's equation. Planck's equation is a mathematical equation that relates energy to frequency. What it says is that energy and frequency are directly related. In other words, as the frequency of a light wave goes up, which means we're talking about smaller waves, as the frequency increases, the energy also increases. High frequency light is also high energy light. So getting back to our comparison of a red wave and a blue wave, if a red wave has a longer wavelength, then it's going to also have a lower frequency. This corresponds to a lower energy. As the waves get shorter, the frequency is higher, and so high frequency light would also have high energy. In other words, a blue photon carries more energy than a red photon. Now we can express this relationship mathematically with a little equation. We could say energy is directly related to frequency. That's a direct proportion. If we want to turn this into an equation, we would just use the equal sign and insert a constant. Now the constant here is going to be abbreviated with the symbol H. That's the symbol we use for Planck's constant. And let's try cleaning this up a little bit. Here's our equation. E equals H times nu and H, a constant, we're always going to use the value 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th. Notice the units are joules times seconds. We also would read that as joule seconds. So let's try an example calculation. This calculation is for X-ray radiation, which is considered relatively high energy radiation. You look at this number here and you think that doesn't look like high energy. Uh, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 15th, that's the energy for one single photon. We're going to calculate the frequency of that light. And we do so with a new equation we just learned that says the energy equals Planck's constant times the frequency. In this calculation, we know energy. The reason that we know that's an energy is because it's measured in joules. We're looking for frequency. That's what they've asked us to calculate. So let's take our equation and let's solve it for frequency. I'm going to divide both sides by Planck's constant. And I do that so that frequency will be isolated. So the frequency will equal the energy divided by Planck's constant. In other words, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 15th joules divided by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. Notice what happens to our units here. The joules will cancel. And notice what units we have left. They're not seconds, they're per seconds, one over seconds. So now I take out my calculator and I divide these two numbers. And I get 1.508295.6 times 10 to the 48th. Now of course I'm going to round this number. Looking over at my other measurement, I see that there are two significant digits. There are three significant digits in my constant, but I'm limited to keeping two significant digits by this measurement here, so I will round my answer so that it has two significant digits. And I write 1.5 times 10 to the 48th power. The units are per seconds or hertz. All right, let's try another problem here. How much energy does a photon of green light have? Now the wavelength of the green light is given as 510 nanometers, and I need to use that measurement to calculate the energy. Let's see how we can do that. Now the equation that I have with energy in it says E equals H times nu. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency, but I do not have the frequency of the light, which means before I can use this equation, I'm going to have to calculate frequency from the wavelength. 
Let's review that equation. The wave equation looks like this. And since I need to plug in the value for frequency in order to calculate energy, I'm going to have to solve this equation for frequency, which means let's isolate that variable by dividing both sides by wavelength. Wavelength cancels, so the frequency will equal the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Now I plug in some numbers. Speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second and the given wavelength was 510 nanometers. And I see my next problem, and that is I've got nanometers and meters, and these units are not going to cancel. What that means is this number in my denominator, 510 nanometers, is going to have to be converted. Let's do that right here. I need nanometers turned into meters. Remember we talked about unit conversions. We want the units to cancel so that nanometers go away. So if I put them on the bottom, they will cross out. I'm going to turn them into meters. And the ratio for every one meter, there are a billion nanometers. I'm going to take a little shorthand here and write that as 10 to the ninth. So 510 divided by 10 to the 9th comes out to 5.10 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. And that's the number I'm going to plug in on the denominator of this calculation. 5.10 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. By using this number, the meters will cancel and I will calculate my frequency in per seconds. And the answer to this calculation is 5.88 times 10 to the 14th power. So now I can calculate the energy. I'm going to use my equation, Planck's equation up here. I'm going to plug in the frequency, which is in 1 over seconds. I'm going to plug in Planck's constant, h, and the product of those should give me energy. So h is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Frequency we just calculated as 5.88 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. And the product of those two numbers is 3.8. 90 times 10 to the minus 19th. Check your units. Notice that the seconds and the 1 over seconds canceled, and so the units will be joules. This problem took a little more effort, but it was a good review of some of the other equations and calculations we've done. Hopefully this helps you get through your calculations. Keep in mind that there are two equations that we've used, and you may need to use either of those equations or a combination of both of them to do your calculations, and that we're still doing unit cancellation problems. Good luck with your homework, and if you have any problems, get in touch with somebody smart.